Hello YouTube, yes I am back and oh, it's been a while. I do have some videos that I've wanted to upload and they are from back in November. I know it's February, where have I been? I will update you guys at some point, I promise. But anyway, I thought I would upload this video because I've been dying to get it up for ages, haven't had the chance, but here we go. Enjoy. This will be a week of training and at the end there is a little half marathon, I believe. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello YouTube! <laughs> it's Tuesday morning and I dropped my daughter off at nursery like I normally do and I set off to do a run but I only actually managed to do the first mile and then I came back because my legs were really sore. I started stretching and my left shin oh it was so so sore i'm someone who's suffered from shin splints in the past quite badly and i do not want to go through that again and i'm a little bit concerned i might already be there only on the left leg last time i had it in both so at least there's only just one leg <laughs> but i am currently on the bike actually getting him look how close he gets nutter but yeah, I'm on the bike, it's less impact. At least I've got a mile done, I'm gonna class that as a warm up. I don't know how long I'm gonna be on here, how far I'm gonna go, cause my plan was ruined. I was gonna do a five mile run, Never mind. About 10K in already. Oh, I'm actually quite tired. Yeah, look at that, nearly half an hour. Problem is when you don't have a plan, you don't quite know when you're meant to stop. I was planning on having a good few days of runs and maybe even doing a bit of a run with me, but typical really, isn't it? Absolutely typical. station I've done a strength workout the one that I showed you in my last vlog the 20 25 minute from the running channel I started thinking oh I feel right so I thought oh, I'll just go for like a little two miles I'm about 2k in 1.2 I'm at I feel good you know so I'm not gonna go mad but I'm just gonna enjoy it you know just not think about what I need to do and stress about pace, hills. I've already done the strength. Let's, let's have a mental health run. So, how out of breath I am. <laughs> problem with not having a plan and just going for a run is I have to make the route on the go. <sighs> so annoying. So like I'm constantly tired so I'm constantly wanting to cut it short. But you know, do you do that? This was originally supposed to be just like a fun short thing. So there is no pressure really. <sighs> Absolutely nothing. Two and a half miles. All done. I mean, I was planning on just doing two miles originally, and then when I got to two, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop now. I can't, I shouldn't really push it. But there was people. I've got this thing where I just can't stop and walk. If there's people around, I have to just keep running. But anyway, that is what I did. So nice and slow and steady. Even though I do get quite a breath, but yeah. Oh, back home now. I need to stretch uh, and Why yeah. Millie, I'll be up in a minute. I need to stretch, then I need to play with my daughter quickly. <laughs> then I'll have a bath. But um, yeah, I'll show you my strength workout on my watch just to prove I did it. <laughs> so that's both of them. And that's the session, exactly 25 minutes. So let's get some stretching done because my calves are actually really tight at the minute, which is really frustrating. When I first started running, my calves were the one thing that was really, really painful and I thought I needed to get just conditioned to it. Eventually it did ease off and they weren't a problem at all, but for some reason the pain is back. So I'm going to focus on stretching. Nearly!
move. Exciting morning today. I've actually booked a half marathon. It's the Remembrance Run in Essex. About an hour's drive. I'm gonna be doing the half, got Matt with me and he's gonna be doing the marathon. Funny story, I actually thought it was the full marathon they had on the website, but it's actually a metric marathon, which means it's 26.2K, <laughs> not 26.2 miles. Are you human? Uh, I'm not happy about it. That is where we went for the half marathon. We had a really, really good race. I really struggled actually, but I still managed it and I got a PB, which was amazing. Firstly, I do want to say the reason I wanted to book a half marathon is because I have medals, but none of them are half marathon medals. Any time I've done a half marathon is just me on my own or me with my husband. So I wanted the official half marathon medal in my collection, but let me show you what medal I got. Let me show you. Now, even though this medal is gorgeous as you can see it doesn't say anywhere half marathon <laughs> so anybody who raced that day there was a one mile race 5k 10k half marathon and metric marathon um we all got the same medal so you know what that means i'm gonna have to book another half to get the uh the actual half marathon on the medal but there we go that's what we got so thank you so much for watching guys and I will be with you next week with an update on my training and yeah, my new goals and I will see you then. Bye guys.